Over the last year and a half, many local businesses have been hit hard. Many have closed their doors for the last time, greatly affecting our communities. It seems as if the little guy doesn't stand a chance as profits plummet and costs climb, but we are not out of the fight. We have the opportunity to accelerate the local economy, restore the local business, and fight for our community. Shopping local doesn't have to be limited to one Saturday out of the year. So what would happen if we supported our local businesses, our neighbors, our friends? Let's rebuild and restore. Let's stay local. Here. Yes. <laughs> this is great. So, again, super simple, laid back, just okay. conversation. Okay. We're just okay. gonna have a talk. All right. You know, the theme of this is let's stay local. Yeah. I've shared with you, uh, mm -hmm. and I'll kind of fill you in. Um, I'm sure you all had conversations about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Is, um, community is important. Mm -hmm. Community is powerful. Mm -hmm. Community matters. Yes. And I believe, and I, I assume you do as well, that. We can support one another yeah. locally, our neighbors, our friends, mm -hmm. our family, people mm -hmm. that have a shop or a business just here, mm -hmm. locally owned. We can do that and not only supporting them by purchasing, but we can encourage them and lift mm -hmm. them up and share. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the heart behind this, mm -hmm. um, to share local businesses, the people behind the brand, the mm -hmm. logo, the, the building, the person mm -hmm. behind it, the idea, the heart behind it. Mm -hmm. um, with that comes its trials, its journeys, sure. its struggles, yeah. uh, yes. highs and lows, and everything in between. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you all about today. Just okay. a little bit of a little bit of your journey. Mm -hmm. Maybe what are some of those challenges, but also more importantly, what does community mean to you? And mm -hmm. how can others get involved? How mm -hmm. can they come and support? Obviously, they can come and eat mm -hmm. here, uh, mm -hmm. and it's great. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. I would highly recommend it. Obviously, mm -hmm. but beyond that, beyond the product you offer, it's the service. It's the heart. Mm -hmm. It's you. It's mm -hmm. the three of you mm -hmm. and everyone that you bring into the family. Mm -hmm. So, all that rambling. Mm -hmm. I just want to hear from y'all. Uh, whoever wants to start, just kind of tell me the heart behind this place. What does the lunch table mean? We both have, um, have had a desire to reach a community for, um, for the Lord. Um, and uh, how do you do it? You know, we, we kind of go to church and, you know, come back home and we're reaching our families. But it seemed like God was expanding that. He wanted us to get outside of what we know because it's really easy to stay in that bubble. Like Nora said, community was what we, what God had laid on our heart. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, we both had visions of what that meant. Uh, for her, she was thinking venue, like a wedding, a place for wedding showers and baby showers mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. I like prayer night, activity night, you know, things, a uh, singles night. Mm -hmm. Since then, and from a numbers perspective, maybe you could speak to this a little bit, mm -hmm. but just tell me a couple of things about like how there continued to be we won't say obstacles, we'll say opportunities uh, for miracles to come. Yes. Right? Yeah. Just of growth. Beyond our comprehension to happen mm -hmm. and growth and, mm -hmm. and progression. Um, yeah, give me, give me an example or two of, of something recent that, that has kind of taken shape there. Well, one thing, uh, one of the reports I do uh, to track daily sales. And so just last month or earlier this month, we uh, Look, compared it to last year at this time mm -hmm. and, and during the summer and you know how those months went and our our sales are you know continuing to increase our our customers are very loyal and they bring their friends and, and we have people coming every day that uh, have never been here before mm -hmm. and it's just miraculous to me how God keeps bringing those people in. I wanted to paint a little bit of the picture of the struggle, which mm -hmm. I know I'm prying from <laughs> your just joyful, yeah. optimistic, hopeful people, yeah. which is incredible. Mm -hmm. It's encouraging and refreshing. But I, I wanted to kind of paint at least a bit of that picture because running a business is hard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, most yes. people don't know the challenges that come with it. It's 24-7, mm -hmm. you can't turn it off. Right. You don't just leave it when you go home. It's with you always. Mm -hmm. Um, so what would be one thing, and I'll, and I'll kind of back up a bit and say the reason I ask is because, again, I believe in the power of community. 
Yes. And I believe that we bear each other's burdens. And I mm -hmm. believe that if we can come together to solve these obstacles, mm -hmm. challenges together collectively yeah. as yeah. a community, then it is benefiting all. Um, and then that is mm -hmm. repeatable, right, for other businesses and other people in the area. So again, kind of to look at just a bit of some of the challenges that you guys have faced recently. Um, obviously, you know, I still, um, kids we have kids we have family and we don't shut off after three o'clock kathy's right you know we we leave here and and there's uh, things that are coming through the email things that are things that we have to address just to be ready for the next day and so we're constantly communicating and so yeah there's no shut off button mm -hmm. you know we just we just keep going we just keep going except for sundays the lord's day <laughs> so, yes. Yes. yeah we try yeah we mm -hmm. try not to communicate work, talk about work on sunday but mm -hmm. um but yeah so that would be the challenge um you know just time management and just trying to balance family um and uh I'm, i know that some of our challenges and miss Galen can can speak more about that but you know uh, we never know what um, what, who and what is coming through that door. And so really just stepping out in faith um, and saying, okay, God, um, yeah, we're running a little short this month. So we, um, you know, we need mm -hmm. um, your provision. So mm -hmm. thank y'all for sharing that. I know, again, it's not your character and your nature. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be, you know, crowded yeah. out of you. Maybe, but, yeah. but it's real. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and, and that's the thing that I'm looking for. Right, with, with sharing the community because again, we can bear each other's burdens. And I, mm -hmm. I believe by sharing these things, maybe someone can say, oh wow, I've been meaning to try that place out. Mm -hmm. I absolutely have to now. I love these ladies. Mm -hmm. That place looks incredible. <laughs> the food looks amazing. Like now, and it's just a reminder for them to come to the door, right? They mm -hmm. planned on it, they got busy, they forgot. Mm -hmm. Now it's just that encouragement. If, apart from what you do on a day to day basis, mm -hmm. serving people and loving people while they're here in your building. What's the big vision? What's the mission? Uh, and I would even say, added to that, what's the call of maybe involvement that the community could join in with you on that journey? Well, we want to do more mission work. Mm -hmm. We would like, and we have done some. We've uh, donated to different organizations. We've participated in a Christmas uh, Share the Love. For us, um, for me personally, I would love revival in Forney. Mm. Um, mm. I better stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You can cut it. No, um, I just think God's got a plan. Like Nora has said, we don't have to go other places. It's happening right here. Mm -hmm. And my grandkids are growing up, mm -hmm. and I just want, I want God's name to be great. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's one of the reasons why he called us to do it. So we have a prayer night, and I've actually dreamed of circles of people out there just crying out to God. And I, I thought a pandemic would do it. And I'm thinking he thinks that pandemic would have got people out there. But, uh, you know, I don't know what it's going to take, but I do believe that in the power of prayer and people coming together in the power of prayer. Uh, he also said to take the church to the street. And so I feel mm -hmm. like that's yes. another big mm -hmm. part of this. We have our, how can we pray for you? And we follow up with people, mm -hmm. you know, um, where they might not go into a church. Uh, mm -hmm. We've had showers and stuff for people that might not be real accepted other places, but we accept them in, in his name. And mm -hmm. when they're out here, we're in there praying for them, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, I just think we've got to reach out more. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be huge things. He's mm -hmm. using the day to day. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Thank you so much for sharing mm -hmm. that. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I thank you. Say yeah. enough, how much I We're excited. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, it's been this, a pleasure. Really well, nice. a blessing, goodness. Mm -hmm. um, because I believe one of our things is advertising. You know, mm -hmm. how do you get your name out? 
yeah. this is this is one of the best things that's ever happened to us. Mm -hmm. So I'm honored. We we appreciate mm -hmm. it. It's yes. truly my pleasure. Really, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm.